All right, everybody, this is the No Sanity Challenge from Pico CTF 2025. It is an easy challenge in the web hacking category from the Pico CTF 2025 event. The description says, a developer has added profile picture upload functionality to a website. However, the implementation is flawed and it presents an opportunity for you. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to navigate to the provided web page and locate the file upload area. Your, ultim your ultimate goal is to find the hidden flag located in the slash root directory. Additional details will be available after launching your challenge instance. So what we need to do is we need to access this website and we need to find some way to take advantage of the web application and read the flag in the root directory. So we, the first thing we need to do is we need to click on this launch instance button and that's going to create the web page on a, uh, in a virtual machine. So after a few moments, you're gonna see a new link over here. You can access the web application here. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna put this in a new tab. After that, we're gonna to navigate to this web page and the web page is labeled No Sanity, interesting. And it, this, what, this is what looks like some sort of um, file upload page. Let's talk about exactly what's going on in the, on this web app in the presentation here. So this is the No Sanity Challenge, and we're talking about file upload attacks. File upload attacks are a type of web app hack where malicious files can be uploaded to a web server and then accessed on the web app executing the code within the uploaded malicious files. So we can upload a file and then access it on the web app, and then we're going to run whatever code is inside of that file. In order to perform a file upload attack, there are three conditions that must be met. Number one, there must be a way to upload files to a web accessible location via the web app or another service. So this doesn't need to be a web app file upload, it could be using another service like FTP or SMB. The second thing is the upload location must be known to us. So even if we can upload something to the web app, unless we can actually find the location of the file, then we can't actually do this attack. And number three, the app must be able to execute code. So certain types of applications are able to execute code. Um, most notoriously, apps that are programmed using the PHP language. So the first file condition is the file upload condition. The application lets us upload files, and a lot of apps only let you upload files of a certain type. So for example, you might only be able to upload text files, or you might only be able to upload picture files. In this case, there's no filter, and you can upload whatever type of file you want. So the second condition is the code execution condition. So file upload attacks will not work unless the web app executes codes and files. So PHP is a classic example, and web apps that host PHP files are a good indicator that, a, that an app is vulnerable to file upload attacks. So the last, the last condition is the known upload location condition. And the last condition of the file upload attack is the ability to access the malicious file you upload to the application. This app explicitly lets us know where uploaded files are located in the app. So let's go ahead and put this all together and perform this attack. So the first thing we need to do, and I've got a little walkthrough over here. It says here, the web app file a web app allows file upload, which can be used to upload a web shell. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this code and we're going to write this to our to our um, to our file system over here. So I'm using Kali Linux. Uh, you might not be using Kali Linux. You can use whatever whatever uh, terminal you want. But we're just going to write a little file with nano. We're going to call it um, webshell.php. 
and uh, this is going to be a web shell that we can use to um, to run commands after we upload it. So inside of Nano, we're going to paste in our code that we copied from the uh, from the GitHub from the GitHub page, and this is a very simple PHP web shell. So a web shell is a, an endpoint on a web app where we can send a certain URL parameter in order to run a command on that web server. So it uses the, uh, the PHP system function, which runs an OS command. And in this case, it's gonna run whatever command we put after the, uh, the CMD, the CMD um, URL parameter. And we'll demonstrate this in just a little bit. So we just need to save out this file by doing control X, save modified buffer yes, press enter to confirm the file name. After we do that, we're going to go back to the web app over here, and we're going to browse for a file to upload. So this is located in the temp directory, so we're just going to go over to the temp directory, and we're going to navigate down, and we're going to see the webshell.php file in here. Click on it, click on open, and then click on upload profile. After that, it says the file webshell.php has been uploaded to path uploads webshell.php. So we can copy this because this is the endpoint where we're going to find our, um, our PHP file that we uploaded. We copy that. Then in the um, address bar, we're going to paste in our endpoint here. So it now says number, 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 slash, uploads, slash, webshell.php. When we access this, um, this file here, it says, cannot execute a blank command. That's fine, because uh, we need to supply our command to the, uh, to the, to the webshell here. So on the end of, on the, at the end of the, um, of the address, we're going to do question mark. And then after the question mark, we're going to type in CMD equals. So the command is going to be whatever is after the, um, the equal sign over here. For example, I can type in who am I, and this will issue the, uh, the Linux who am I command. So we get the command back and it says that the word, the www data user. So we have to, from here, we have command execution on the, on the web server, but we have to remember what we're here to do. So in the challenge, it says, the ultimate goal is to find the hidden flag located in the root directory. So root directory over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the application and we're gonna give a different command. So instead of the who am I command, we're going to take a look inside the root directory. So ls space slash root. So we see that uh, we don't get a response. This is probably because we're not allowed to read the, uh, the root directory with the ls command. So how do, we, uh, how do we figure out what we can do, what we can do on the server? So this is a bit unusual for, for a web app challenge, but we're, what we're going to do is we're going to give the uh, the sudo dash l command to figure out if our user, the www data user, can run sudo commands. So it says www data on challenge. We can run the following commands on challenge. So this is the name of the server, and it says all, no password, all. So we can actually run sudo commands on the server as the www data user. Um, so this is, <laughs> this is very unusual. Normally, the, this www data user shouldn't be able to run sudo commands, but for this challenge, we can. So what we're going to do is we're going to read the, um, the flag in the root directory. But uh, first of all, we should see if this actually works. And we can test this by giving this command. So it's sudo ls slash root. And we see that inside the root directory, we were able to read it using the sudo command. And there's a flag.txt file in here. 
So the last thing we need to do to read the file is to sudo cat slash root slash flag dot txt. So <laughs> after we do that, uh, we were able to read the file by using the, um, the web shell that we uploaded here. So PicoCTF, what can you do with PHP? We can do a lot. So we can go ahead and copy this flag. And then we can go over to the PicoCTF challenge page. And then at the bottom here, we're going to paste in our flag and submit the flag. And we've finished the challenge. OK, everybody, this was a guided walkthrough for the No Sanity Challenge from the Pico CTF 2025 event. If you enjoyed this guided walkthrough, please click on the like and subscribe buttons on the video and leave a comment underneath the video. But until next time, Hacker Frogs out. Hey there, Hacker Frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.